Hello, welcome back to another AF Stadiums. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Northeast Conference football stadiums. Um, now, this is an FCS Division I conference, um, but these stadiums are on the smaller side. We're going to start things off with St. Francis University in Deagle Field. we got a capacity of 3,450. Um, there's really not much to say about this one. They did just get some new turf put in. It does look like they have a pretty nice little scoreboard or press box there on top of the home side. Um, but other than that, the away side, you just got one section of bleacher seating kind of tucked into the trees there. You still got a track around the field. Um, nothing too special. Definitely a nice little stadium, but for college football, you'd like to see a little bit more. Moving along to Merrimack College, we got Duane Stadium, capacity 3,500. Um, this one's getting a little bit better. You do have some chair back seats. Actually, it looks like you might have some little suites up there along with the press box. There is no seating on the away side. It's just like a terrace um, that they put some tents on. Um, still have a track around it, which is eh for college football. But for these smaller divisions, it's kind of common. But overall, the game day atmosphere looks pretty good there. Um, again, though, the away side, you could definitely do some upgrading, which might help out. Moving on to Long Island University and Bethpage Federal Credit Union Stadium. we got a capacity of 6,000, making this the largest in the conference. Um, on the home side, you do have some chair back seats. On the away side, you do actually have a press box. It is all bleacher seating. But overall, a pretty nice little stadium. I also like the fact they kind of like redid logos and coloring. So now they're kind of a baby blue with yellow, which I think really pops when you're looking at the stadium. Overall, not bad. Still on the smaller side. I would have liked to seen a larger video board back there instead of just your regular old scoreboard. Moving on to Sacred Heart University Campus Field. We got a capacity of 3,340. Um, they just built a brand new athletic like operations center back there in the end zone, which looks super nice. Um, but this one kind of reminds me of St. Francis. You got a larger home side um, with a nice little press box. And then the away side is just some bleacher seating kind of tucked into the woods again. Do have some nice turf. Again, got a track around the field. But uh, yeah, this athletic center just looks absolutely beautiful i love when these smaller schools kind of put that in the end zone just makes it look bigger next we got duquesne university rooney field capacity 2200 this is the smallest uh stadium in the conference um, they did just get some new turf which looks really nice you got a pretty nice view of the pittsburgh skyline though can't can't go wrong with that but overall, very small stadium. The away side, I don't even know if they really have seats over there. Um, but again, the new turf looks really nice, like the new logo as well. And the press box, it's kind of cool. I mean, definitely smaller, but it is very nice. And it even looks like they got some chair back seats there. Moving on to Stonehill College, we got WB Mason Stadium, capacity 2400. This, to me, looks like every high school football stadium I've ever seen. Um, does have some nice turf. I do like the purple and white. Got a nice building there in the end zone to kind of tie things in, make the stadium feel a little bit more cozy. Um, but we do have a track around the stadium again. But like I said, that's pretty common with these. But you do get some chair back seats as well as bleacher seating. And this seating actually looks like it's kind of set up like Merrimack. So maybe you even have some suites up there um, with the press box. But they could definitely add in a wayside seating as well. Moving on to Central Connecticut State University. We got a root field capacity 2500. Now to me, this one looks a lot bigger than the capacity, especially... The away side is just one large um, bleacher seating section, which seems like it should hold 2,500 on its own. You do have some older chair back seats there. Nice little video board, scoreboard. Um, overall, not a bad stadium. The press box on this one does look really nice. 
Um, it's probably one of the nicer press boxes that we've seen. Um, again, more like college looking, but still not super huge. And lastly, we have Wagner College. We got Wagner College Stadium with a capacity of 3,300. Again, we got a track, just seats on one side. Uh, it does have like a field hockey field behind the stadium, which I thought was just kind of cool. Um, overall, not a bad little stadium. I know they are planning to build kind of like an athletic operations center next to the stadium, which I think will help. Um, they do have a video board over there. Overall, not bad. Uh, looks like game days, they're pretty full, which is always good. Um, but yes, yeah, still, still kind of your typical high school stadium. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.